Yo, what's good everyone? My name is Alex and I'm a pretty small YouTuber focused on creating videos about photography, gear, and tech. When I first started my channel, I spent most of my budget on my camera, lenses, and lighting. However, I quickly learned that audio is just as important as other gear when it comes to YouTube. So today's video is about the Comica VM20 shotgun microphone. In this video, I'll go over the unboxing experience, features of this microphone, as well as some audio tests. I am by no means a professional in the audio space. However, I do record tons of voiceovers as well as talking head segments for my channel. So if you're also a small YouTuber like myself and are looking to buy a microphone on a budget, maybe this review can help you out. And also give this video a thumbs up for budget-friendly gear. Now before we get into the unboxing, I want to thank Comica for sending the VM20 microphone out to me. However, they did not tell me what to say. This review is comprised of my own unbiased thoughts and opinions. So with that being said, let's get right to the unboxing. The box design is pretty clean and minimal, with an image of the mic on the front and some specs on the back. Opening it up, you'll find a pretty big carrying case. This is a rugged hard shell case that protects the mic and accessories. Unzipping it reveals a foam insert with precise cutouts for the microphone, shock mount, and foam windshield. In the top portion of the case, you will get the dead cat, paperwork, and both TRS and TRRS cables. So you can use this mic with your smartphone or your camera. Overall, I am impressed with the accessories that comes with this microphone. The kit comes with pretty much everything you need to get started. The microphone design is very similar to the Rode VideoMic NTG, Deity D3, and other shotgun microphones of this style. The VM20 is fully made out of metal with a matte black finish and a few specks of shiny paint splatters. It weighs 85 grams and overall the build feels solid and high quality. On the top, there is a button to toggle between the 75Hz and 150Hz low cut filter modes. You also get the power button and an OLED screen for the battery indicator. How cool is that? On the side, you can see the USB-C charging port and the 3.5mm jack. I really appreciate how this mic has USB-C charging because that just means one cable to charge all of my devices. The internal battery is rated for 60 hours and you can charge it and use it at the same time. At the rear of the mic, there is a stepless gain control, so you can adjust volume on the fly. This dial turns smoothly with little resistance. The foam windscreen has the Comica branding on it and feels pretty typical. However, the dead cat is more of a pouch and doesn't hold its own shape. You have to cinch it over the foam windscreen for it to work. Lastly, the shock mount is pretty easy to handle, and it has orange accents to go with the Comica branding. The microphone feels pretty secure in it, and there is also a cold shoe mount with threads, so you can use it on top of your camera for a vlogging setup, or you can use it attached to a boom arm for studio use. The Comica VM20 is a super cardioid shotgun microphone. This means that the sound is very directional and picks up most of the sound from the front while blocking out unwanted noise from the side and rear. This is what the audio sounds like directly in front of the mic. And this is what the audio sounds like from behind the mic. The audio from this entire video has been shot from the VM20. It is on a boom arm roughly a foot from my mouth, just out of frame. I have it connected directly into the A7R4, which is recording this video. Now this is what my voice sounds like with no edits applied. The sound is clear, detailed, and overall sounds pretty good. Alright, so now it's a sound test with no low pass filter activated. You should be able to hear a lot of ambient noise, like my heater, the fan from my light, as well as the fans from my computer. Now is the same test, but with the 75Hz low pass filter activated. This filter should block out some of that ambient noise. Now this is the sound test for the 150Hz low pass filter. This mode is great for outdoor use in windy conditions, although it does affect the sound quality of your voice. The VM20 is a huge improvement over my old Tacstar microphone. I find this sound to be richer and I can get more range out of my recordings. Now this is a sound test from the Tacstar microphone. 
You can still hear my voice and it works pretty well for a $20 microphone. But when you compare it to the Comica, you can tell that the sound is more muffled and not as clear. At the time of this video, the VM20 is around $130 USD on Amazon. While this isn't the cheapest microphone, this is still a great budget alternative to more expensive brands like Rode or Deity, which can cost hundreds of dollars more. This microphone packs a lot of value and has pretty much all the features that you need to get started. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this microphone.